Welcome to Mount Bethel's Good Friday service. On the behalf of our pastors, Bishop Dr. Cecil and Pastor Dolores Mullins, we thank you for joining us today. Now go with us as we journey through the last seven sayings of Jesus. God bless. today and also at the end to pray. So what I would like to do is just share a few of the scriptures and you know what it means to us in, uh, in regards to the sayings of Jesus Christ. So the first one I want to look at today is taken from Luke 23 and 24 and it says, Father forgive them for they know not what they're doing. This, this was an horrific time in the life of Jesus and during this time he still had mercy on us. And he also asked his father to forgive us because we knew not what we were doing. So God extend his forgiveness. Jesus extended his forgiveness to this undeserving world. The second one I want to look at is Luke 23 verse 43. You will be with me in paradise. Jesus, was, Jesus has prepared a place for you and I. While he was on the cross, he was placed between two guilty men. One believed and one did not. Just like the world we're living in today. Some people believe and some people do not. But it is our responsibility to share the love of Jesus. The third one I want to look at is taken from St. John 19, verses 26 to 27. And it says, Woman, behold your son. While Jesus was on the cross, the thought of his beloved mother Mary came to mind. We are important to our Lord. As he suffered on the cross, he thought about the, the needs of his mother who had loved and cared for him. So just as Jesus cared for his mother while he was suffering, Jesus is caring for us today. The fourth one is taken from Matthew 27, verse 46. And it says, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Sometimes we're crying out, not just uh, during Easter time, but sometimes in our lives, we're going through and we're crying out just like Jesus did by saying, my God, my God, why have thou forsaken me? Sometimes we're free forsaken. But I'm here to remind you that sometimes we feel forsaken or forgotten. But I'm here to remind you that just like Jesus called on his father, we need to call on our savior today. He's able to carry all of our burdens and he's able to carry us just like he carried 
his, his son's burden. The fifth one I would like to look at, and it's taken from John 19, verse 28. And it says, I thirst. So while Jesus was on the cross, he said, you know, he had humans' emotions just like us because he is called the son of man. Jesus also demonstrated that he understands human sufferings and thus understanding our hurts and physical needs too. In John 4 verse 14, it reads, but whomever drink the water, I will give, uh, whomever drink this water will never thirst again. Indeed, the water I give them will become them a spring of water, well of eternal life. The Lord is ready to give us eternal life. We eternal life. We just have to call out to him. The sixth one I would like to talk about today is from the book of John 19 verse 13. And it says, it is finished. In dying, Jesus also sealed Satan's fate. It was through Jesus' death that we might destroy him who, have, who had the power of death. That is the devil. We can find that in the book of Hebrews. The seventh one is found in Luke 26, I'm sorry, Luke 23, verse 46. And it says, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. Jesus' final words were those of complete faith and submission. Jesus submit himself to death. He is no longer forsaken. The father now holds out his hands to welcome his son. As was prophesied three days later, God brought Jesus back to life. And now he reigns in glory, seated at the right hand of God. Like Jesus, can we put our life in God's hands? Yes, we can. Completely trusting in his perfect plan for us today. Yes, we can. We can rest assured that in Jeremiah 29 verse, 30, verse 11, for he knows the plans that he has for you and I. Jesus' track record is good today. So in him we can trust. By faith we will make it. At this time, I'm going to take a few minutes and pray. Our eternal Father, we give you glory, we give you praise. God, you are God and God alone. God, when you were on the cross, you, my, my family, my friends, my church were on your mind. And God, for that, we could say thank you. God, we can lift our hands and surrender to you, God, because you are a big God. God, there is nothing that is impossible for you today, God. And Lord God, as we celebrate this Easter, Lord, we're not going to complain. We're not going to talk about the coronavirus and all different things. But Lord God, I hear in my spirit that I should give you praise, that I should lift you up because you are the I am that I am. God, you're from everlasting to everlasting. And Lord God, just like how you laid your life and you put it down. We are laying ourselves down at your feet today. We're saying, our oh, big God, we surrender. We're saying, Jehovah Jireh, we cannot make it. We're saying, God, you are from everlasting to everlasting. We saying, God, that you have prepared that place in paradise for us. And we believe today, God, that if we live holy and trust in you, that we will be at that place. God, there are so many things. People, just like you were on the cross and you suffered and you thirst. Oh God, there's so many people that are feeling those things today. But Lord God, just like you instructed John to care for your mother, you're instructed us today, God, to care for each other. And I pray, Holy Ghost, just as we lay ourselves at your feet, we're saying, God, to take us as we are. We're saying, King Jesus, that we cannot do it. God, we're saying we cannot walk without you holding our hands. God, we're trusting in you, Lord, because you are the potter and we are the clay. And Lord God, I'm trusting that you can do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that can ever ask and think. God, you are Jehovah. God, you are righteous. God, you're my healer. Oh, God, and this evening, I put my church, God, I put the world, God. I put the community, Lord. I put everyone in your hands because, Lord God, we belong to you, Jesus. Oh, God, no other help we know. But, Lord God, if you hide yourself from us, where would we go? And, Lord God, we surrender ourselves to you. God, I surrender myself to you, Lord. Oh, God, when you were on the cross, God, the world were on your mind. God, you know this day will come. You know 2020 will come. You know your people will feel like they're suffering. You know your people will feel forgotten. But God, you said that no matter what is going on, you said no matter what weapon is formed against us, God, you said you already did it when you were on the cross and dead and the grave is defeated. And in the name of Jesus, I have that assurance that if I trust in my mighty king that the grave 
cannot hold me down. And Lord God, I believe your name. Lord, I trust you. God, I call you Father. I call you Elohim. I call you Healer. I call you Lord. I call you Jehovah. I call you Mighty. God, you are the Prince of Peace. Father, you are our Comforter. You are our Way Maker. No matter what was going on, Lord, you already done it. God, you said all we need to do is believe. And Lord God, your words, Lord, would always ring assurance in our spirit that no matter what is going on, you will take care of us. God, we can rest in your promises because your promises are true. I can rest, God, on your words because your words live forever. I thank you for being the King of Kings. I thank you for being the Lord of Lords. God, just so whenever we pray, we should come humbling ourselves. And Lord God, as we lay it down, we say thank you for your forgiveness. As we lay it down, we say thank you for your healing. As we lay it down, we say thank you for another day that we can breathe and call upon your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you for the blood you shed for us, Lord Jesus. I hope that word ministered to you today. We invite you to be a part of our Mount Bethel family. You can find us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You can also go to your mobile device and find the Mount Bethel Church of God app there. Or follow us on our YouTube channel. But you can find everything you need related to Mount Bethel on our website. My name is Bishop Gary Shaw Mullins, and on the behalf of our pastors, Bishop Dr. Cecil and Pastor Dolores Mullins, again, thank you, grace be with you, and peace be multiplied.